Today, we're checking out Wordplay, which is a long form AI writer. And let me start off by saying I use ChatGTP a lot, but it's not quite there for creating long form content. And even using Wordplay, I still edit the content or have someone edit it to make sure it's unique and passes AI detectors and things like that. But this is really well reviewed and I have three codes, which allows me to generate 22,500 words a month, and the article length is 2,000 plus words per article. So we're gonna give this a test drive today. And if you wanna dive right in and check out this deal on AppSumo, click the link in the description down below. It is an affiliate link. If you click through that link and purchase, I do get a commission from AppSumo, and thank you very much for that. Helps me keep making these videos for free on YouTube, but it does not make it more expensive for you if you click through that link. So it's a win-win for everybody. So if you do buy through that link, thank you very much. And now let's get on with the rest of this video. So if I head over to Wordplay, this is the dashboard right here, pretty simple. There is a My Content area that has all your content that you've created, has a My Usage area, and Extensions, which has been recently added, WordPress plugin, so you can import directly from Wordplay into WordPress. It's pretty slick, makes your life a lot easier. So we have our Create Long Form Content, and we have tools as well. We have the Guided Mode, Title Mode, Outline Mode, Bulk CSV Mode, which means you can just have titles in a comma separated file, upload them, and it just creates the content for all of them in bulk. Bulk FAQs, same idea. You have to upload them in bulk. And topic mode, create content in bulk from a list of topics. I'm gonna to choose the guided mode. Apparently it's the most popular, and I'm gonna see how this works. And I'm also going to do this the exact same blog post inside of ChatGTP. Don't worry about all this rubbish up here. It's just a, a prompt helper. Doesn't affect the actual output of ChatGTP. Excuse me, let me just use the blank prompt down here. So I'm gonna click on guided mode. Let's do wordplay first. And what's the keyword you wanna rank for? This is the topic here, our Instagram basics. So let's make the keyword Instagram basics that we wanna rank for. Instagram basics, internal notes, none, language, English. Let's see what options they have. I want this to go away. A lot of European. So mostly European languages listed here. Stick with English. Tone, professional, artistic, authoritative, caring, compassionate. I often go with friendly. Next. So this is the title generator. Again, this is the guided mode. So it, it kind of guides you through the creation of all these things. Instead of you just adding a topic and it just goes off on whatever tangent it feels like, this will help you get more refined content that's more of what you want. So our title right now is want to grow on Instagram. Here are the Instagram basics for total beginners. One of these might be better. Let's take a look. Mastering the Instagram basics, comprehensive guide for business and personal accounts. That's a bit better. Mastering the foundations of Instagram, comprehensive guide to the basics, essential guide, Instagram basics, tips and tricks for boosting social media presence. I like that one. Let's do that. Click on select, drops it right in there. And then you can edit it if you want. Let's go back to that. You can edit this if you want. It's not quite perfect. You can have it be perfect. You can edit the words right here. Then click on next. When that's ready, click on generate introductions. This will be based on the title that we just entered for the article. Now, while this is working, let's just go over here. Let ChatGTP do some work. Please write a thorough blog post on the topic. Oh, I didn't copy the topic. Let's go back to here. Copy this topic. We'll let ChatGTP work while we're doing the other one so we can come back and take a look at what ChatGTP says. Okay, so here are the introductions that I came up with. I'm not gonna read through these. I'm just gonna choose select. You will need to read through these because, well, I, I do read through these when this is actual content I'm making for a website, but if it's just for a video, you kind of get the idea. You pick the one you like, you can edit it down here or just leave it as it is. Then click on next. And now, also, if you don't like any of them, you can click generate introductions again, and then it will generate introductions again. Click on next, target article length. Let's go for the max. Generate outlines. And I made sure to have not used wordplay in the past month so that when we go to the usage, we can see how many words we used to create this post. Because we used the usage for these titles, every one of these words counts towards the usage, not just the title we use, it generated all these. So all those count towards the usage, all of our intros, all three of these counts towards the usage. If you click on generate introductions again, that counts towards the usage. Here's our outline and down below is our outline editor. So you can click on the plus icon to add just very specific ones, or we can click on add all. 
And here's a tip. Add more sections for longer articles. So let's do something crazy and add all of these ones too. Might be some overlap. Let's assume there isn't. So like this one right here, Instagram Marketing 101, that's kind of its own blog post. So is the Art of Visual Storytelling. So you wanna go through it and find the exact ones you want. I'm gonna take out that 101. And if you're finding this tutorial helpful, click the like button because that helps this video show up for more people on YouTube so we can spread the knowledge and help more people with this information. So make sure you click like if you like this video. Art of Visual Storytelling. I'm sure there's others that are like that where those are actual blog posts. They're not really tips and tricks. Okay, I've decided I wanna do this a little bit better than just bulk adding all of them. So let's go through each one of these. Understanding the basics, a beginner's guide. That could be the intro. Importance of visual storytelling, crafting effective marketing strategy, tips for creating high quality content, navigating the algorithm, no. Mastering the art of Instagram hashtags. That sounds like a blog post title, but I'll add it in. Building strong profile, analyzing metrics, trends and best practices. Make your images stand out. Hashtags, engaging content, metrics to track, the future. Okay, so these are the ones I want. This might not be enough sections to get the 2,500 words, but it might be. And in the final product, I'll probably wanna edit these. In fact, you can edit them right here if you want. So some of these might sound more like headlines, like mastering the art of Instagram hashtags. I might want to change that to, because this, this whole blog post is about tips and tricks to help you grow a following. So maybe Instagram hashtag tips. Even that can be a blog post title. Anyway, you get the idea. We're, we're creating our section headings right here. When you've picked the ones you want, click on next. Now we have our title, our intro, and all of these sections. And it says underneath all of them, this section will be generated by wordplay in the next step. So if you're happy with what you see, you can go back to any section and edit it. Just click on it and make any edits you want. But if you're happy with what you see here, click on Submit to Writer. Here's a confirmation. Submit for an estimated 2,750 words, which I think only chose 2,500. So it must be adding up the number of sections we have and saying 250 words each or something like that. We can test that pretty easily. Let's just add three more sections and see what it says. Submit to Writer. Yeah, so each section it adds, it adds a certain number of words. I'll just keep those three randoms I added and see if we can get up to that many words. Click on confirm. Estimated job completion time less than two minutes. Here's what I made previously. Dogs that shed a lot. Let's see what it made with that. Not bad. 1,000 words. Definitely not 2,000. Instagram basics. This icon means it's currently working. There'll be a check mark when it's done and ready. While it's doing that, let's see what ChatGTP came up with. So it has eight sections. Each section has one paragraph. There's the title we chose. It created an intro as well and a conclusion. In total, it has 640 words. And you can now go back and ask it to elaborate on each one of these items and coax it along to get more and more content, which is a bit of work. Using wordplay and other tools like this, where it's one click. We did a video on Word Hero previously, which I also use quite a bit, and it's long form editor in a few clicks generated 1,200 words, 1,300 words of content that you then have to review. You can't just, in my opinion, you can't just take this, copy it, and paste it into your website. You're gonna to wanna to read it. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that what it's saying is true, because often I found with ChatGTP especially, it hallucinates, it just makes stuff up. So you wanna make sure you're fact checking it. You wanna make sure you're proofreading it. The, the grammar and English is often very good, but you want to make sure you proofread it for your own voice. So if it's fitting into an existing website, you want to make sure it sounds like what you want it to sound like. And this is still working. Let's just refresh to see if it needs a refresh. Looks like that was it, just needed a refresh. So we got one article, it was guided, it just finished. This icon's still here, so maybe it's not finished. No, it's not finished. So I'm just going to pause the video while this works and I'll come back when this article is complete and we'll see what it came up with. So the content's all done now. We have these nice green check marks. Let's take a look at what we have. Generated 3,123 words. Wow. So each section has some solid paragraphs. I have not read through any of them, which is something I'll need to do. I'm gonna copy this to my clipboard and I'm gonna put this into an app called Neuron Writer, which is 
one I used a pre or made a previous video for, also an app Sumo that helps you SEO optimize your content to rank and search. In my Neuron Writer video, which I'll link to in the description down below and the card up above, we go into much more detail on how to set this up. But for now, all we need to know is how Word Hero performed as far as SEO goes. So we have a new query here, which is the title of the post we just made. We click on that, and now it's gonna show us the top competitors for that specific search term in Google US. You can choose Google's all over the planet. I specifically used Google US. So you can tell this person here is really trying to rank 12,600 words, and they only made it to number nine. And this one here, 23 words is number 10. That's interesting. Um, so I probably wanna uncheck these. Those are pretty small, pretty low. Choose some bigger ones because it's not gonna get much data from this post as far as what we need to optimize for. These posts, number 10 and number seven, are probably ranking based on their authority because their content score is really low. So I'm just gonna choose those ones, click on next, and now it's gonna create the area where we can edit our content. And here's our content area. Once we paste in the actual words, that generated, that wordplay generated, we'll see some stats over here. But I wanna get the Instagram post, or sorry, ChatGTP post first, so we can compare. Let's paste that in there. I'm going to change these important things to be actual headings. That helps with our content score, which is currently 17. You'll see it ticking up as I add these as H2s. H2, 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 H2. Okay, those are all H2s. It did not tick up as far as I usually see. Only went to 19. But now you can go in and you can edit your content and try to include all these terms. Again, my word, sorry, my Neuron Writer video goes into great detail about how to improve your content using this app. It's not gonna go into all the detail here. But I am now going to copy a clipboard this whole thing and see if it ranks better than 19. Whoa, put that all in as H1. It's not super helpful. That might have been because we set the H1s and H2s already. I'm not sure. That worked better. Copy a clipboard, just put it all in as H1, whereas I, when I copy it, copy and paste, it actually did the H2s and everything for us, which is pretty slick. So this starts off as a 31 versus a 19. So instantly, we are optimized better out of the gate using wordplay than we are with ChatGTP. We are also at a much higher, higher content level. ChatGTP was 469 words. This is 3,169 words. So we're already ahead of the game. The median for the ranking sites that we selected to compare against is 2,113. So we already have quite a head start. So that's wordplay for you. Let's see how much our usage is for this one post. Words used, 3,123. Hold on a second here. I might have lied to you earlier, 3,123. So when I said earlier that the title generated and the intro generated counted towards your total usage, it doesn't. Only the final article output does because the number of words we had is 1,123 and our usage is 1,123. So that's pretty slick. And that's wordplay for you. There's three plans. The plans differ only in how many words you can generate per month. So we just generated one article, which was 3,000 words. You can do about two and a half of that length using the $99 plan. 198 will get you just under five articles, and the 297 will get you just under seven, eight articles. You can also upgrade inside Wordplay with, for some ridiculous numbers. So if we go back here, there's an upgrade your account button. Click on that, it shows us this little inventory here. I guess it's not ridiculous. For $99, you add 7,500 words, which is comparable to AppSumo. That's probably because the AppSumo deal is still alive. They might change these numbers afterwards, but they wanted to have it, because you'll notice 7,500 plus 7,500 is 15,000, plus 7,500 is 2,250. So each plan increases by 7,500 words. So this upgrade for 99 is exactly comparable to the AppSumo deal. And then this one for 399 is cheaper by 15% and then cheaper by 25% and then cheaper by 30% if you wanna drop $2,800 on upgrading your word count. But if you like wordplay and you use it for your sites and you get benefit from it, it might be worth that. ChatGTP can create this content. Let me reiterate, for free, you can create similar content 
with ChatGTP, this needs more coaxing. It needs more work. It needs more input from you to get the job done. Wordplay, in a few clicks, got the job done and got it done pretty well. So if you wanna check out Wordplay, there's a link in the description down below. It is an affiliate link. If you click through that link, I do get credit for it. And I appreciate that. That helps me keep making these videos for free and trying out the software for you so I can try it and you don't have to and you can see what works and what doesn't before you buy something. And if you wanna check out Wordplay, click the link in the description below and come and check it out. Next up, check out this playlist right here, which is all about AI tools on Lifetime Deal websites like AppSumo. So if you like AI tools and you like Lifetime Deals, this is the playlist for you. So check that out. And if you haven't done so yet, make sure to click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Until next time, my name is Bjorn from Limitless LTDs. Keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.